One thing I forgot to say in the recording of this video is that I plan to do a question and answer for my next video. So if you guys have any questions about me, Worthright Farms, any, certain of the animals, or any questions that came up during the videos, um, just comment down below. And it doesn't have to be one question per person because I don't have very many subscribers, so I don't really think I'm going to get much. So put as many as you feel like, and we'll see how many we get to in the question and answer. Welcome to Forthright Farms, my name is Kaylee, and today I wanted to kick off a new series I'm doing in which I introduce my animals, because I've never really done that, and I, I don't really keep a good storyline all that well, so it's hard for you guys to keep up with what's going on. So I thought I'd start here with the goats, and specifically Bluebell. So this is Bluebell. I think she was the first goat born under my new finished herd name. You're mean. Um, Bluebell is seven years old this year, will be in March, and her, both her dad and her grandpa are the first two bucks we ever owned. Her mom was Lulabelle, and her grandma was Desi. Some of my older viewers might remember Desi. It's a little early for a bonus fact already, but a bonus fact about Bluebell is she is wild unless she is milk. So, I had to include that one early because I needed to come catch her. And you're gonna get a little exhibition here of that. As you can probably guess, Bluebell's over 200 pounds most of the time. But as you might not guess from the size of her sides, she alternates twins and singles every single year. She's got a really wonderful temperament. But for some reason, she has to give advice about being caught if she's not in milk. Once she's in milk, she bonds with me as her kid, and then she likes me, and she licks me like a dog. So Bluebell actually started out as mom's goat, and mom sold her in, in her first year of milking. Strangely enough, I went and worked for the lady who happened to be a golden retriever breeder, and I ended up having to milk Bluebell, and she hated me. She hated me before mom sold her, and she hated me even more when she was at the golden retriever place. She would buck and kick and throw her weight around, tip the stanchion over and ran around with it around the yard one time. It was, you know, she's still latched in. But then that dog person decided to sell her. So we took her back, not intending to keep her. I was going to resell her. She'd bought two does from us and we resold the one. And Bluebell never sold. So I ended up buying her. And she ended up mine, obviously. <laughs> anyway, she um, was an angel from the day she came back. As far as milking goes, you know, she doesn't kick, but she still do that little funny little stomping thing for some reason. Bluebell's a healthy old girl, and as you can tell, a very easy keeper. And she's got really strong feet, which I love, and they don't need trim very often, which I love. But my experiments with her daughters and granddaughters have not gone so well so far. So if I can't, I've got another daughter getting this year and a granddaughter. And if their udders are ugly, because that's her drawback, her udder is ugly and she's hard to milk. Where are you trying to go? You can see in here. A daughter and granddaughter don't turn out. I think I'm gonna sell the whole line this year. It would be really hard to sell Bluebell though. She's been a good girl. Another bonus fact is Bluebell can barely math. She has only like half of a voice and someone described it as belching. Hey! Fine, I'll turn around. Got a big audience out there. One last fun fact is that Bluebell has produced at least 1,483 gallons of milk in her lifetime, which is 22,768 cups. She's not the highest producer we have by any means, but she's not the slackest one out there either. And she can milk. Most of that she has done with zero grain. Just alfalfa or grass A. So that's Bluebell in the nutshell. And it looks like she's grumpy that we woke her up from her nap. Goodbye. Oh, Bluebell and Eclipse also want you not to forget to submit your questions for the Q&A.